Shalom Aleichem everybody, hope all is well. We know that Elul is coming, and what does Elul coming mean? It means that Rosh Hashanah is coming, because Elul is the last month of the year. We know that Rosh Hashanah is a time where we crown Hashem as King anew. That every single day we have to crown Hashem as King. But on Rosh Hashanah it is an even deeper level, that there's a there's a deeper revelation of Hashem's, of Hashem's kingship. And now that we find ourselves entering the month of Elul, in fact, this this uh, this Shabbos and Yom Rishon, this Shabbos and Mon and Sunday are actually Rosh Chodesh Elul. It's the new month uh, where we're celebrating the new month, the month of Elul. And so we have to get involved. We have to connect ourselves to Hashem to finish this year off with intensity, with with joy, with love for Hashem, and with success in order to enter the new year with the most possible strength. In fact, I mentioned earlier in the previous in the previous video I made that I will be going with Hashem's help to the Rashbi, Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai, this Sunday, and which will be Rosh Chodesh Elul, and I'm going to be praying for all of you, and I've gotten a ton of names already, Baruch Hashem, and you can continue to please, I invite you to send me all the names of those around you and yourself and the, the needs of prayer, and I'll be sure to, to, with Hashem's help, to mention your names at the gravesite of the Holy Tzaddik. A lot of people always ask me again in the videos, why, why, why do you pray the righteous person's a caver at a righteous person's resting place like we're, all, we're already connected to Hashem why do we have to pray at a resting place and I answered in the video that th the resting place of the tzaddik is such a holy location it's such an intense and holy location that your prayers to Hashem in that location are even more successful than, than in the average location of course Hashem hears all prayers and we can pray for him, to Him wherever we find ourselves but especially in such a holy location it's even 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 more opportune and therefore, I invite you all to join me because uh, I'm, I'm lucky enough to, with Hashem's help, live in the Holy Land. And I want to take you all with me and at least uh, take your, surely take your names with me and to mention you at Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai's resting place. So, of course, I'm taking you with you spiritually. We know what is Elul all about and what is Rosh Hashanah all about? Elul, my friends, is, is Rosh Hashanah. Ani the Deidi the Deidi Li. I am to my beloved, my beloved is to me. The Rebbe explains on countless occasions that this represents two ideas in Chassidus and Kabbalah. That there's the idea of Isaruta de la Tata and Isaruta de la Ela, arousing from below and arousing from above. And we know that in Elul it is the first Ani la Doidi, I am to my beloved, and then there's the Doidi Li, and my beloved is to me. And the Rebbe explains that this means that we have to do a little bit more. We have to make the first step towards Hashem. We have to make the first move towards Hashem. And Hashem reflects our move, and as we come close to Him, He becomes closer, to, He comes closer to us, so to speak. And we know that obviously Hashem, the Rebbe explains that it's not just that we have to come close to Hashem, and Hashem then comes close to us, but it's even deeper. Hashem gives us the strength to come close to Him, and then He comes close to us. So it's like a, a twofold intensity and twofold blessing that Hashem is bestowing upon us that there's yes we have to make the first move towards God and then in turn Hashem will make a move towards us but deeper than that Hashem actually gives us the strength in the first place to come close to him so when we have that in mind we'll be we'll be excited to get closer to our master and uh, we have to capitalize on this opportunity and this is the month of El that Hashem there's the the, the mashal that the altar Rebbe the first Rebbe of Chabad explains to us and it's something that Every person who's close to Chabad and even people who could be even closer to Chabad are aware of this beautiful mashal, this analogy, that the king is in the field. In the month of Elul, the king is in the field. What does it mean, the king is in the field? It's beautiful, but what does it mean? Imagine you have a king of a country, that he's in the palace, and of course he, and we're talking about a, a, a king that the whole nation loves, an ideal king. Of course he loves all the people, and he cares for all the people, and he provides for them, he does his best to make their life even better and they support the king uh, entirely but the thing the fact of the matter is he's found in the palace most of the times and the people are found in the field and if you want to meet the king uh, it's not it's not exactly such a simple matter you have to first get into the palace and there's all these chambers and all these all these special ministers that you have to go through it's not a it's not a simple matter to meet the king but in the month of Elul the king is in the field the king is coming out to the people and the Rebbe explains that everybody who wants to can come meet the king and is and should and is able to come and meet the king and the king accepts everyone with 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 a, a shining countenance is the word used in says with a with a, with a, with 
with excitement. The king is, is, is loving. He's showing a great amount of chesed. So we have to take this opportunity. And then the, and the Rebbe explains. And then after Elul, Rosh Hashanah, Hashem takes us back with him to the palace. So it's not just he comes to meet us in the field. And then after Hashem goes back to the palace and we're in the field. No, Hashem comes to meet us in the, in the field. And whoever wants to is able to go greet the king. And then Hashem takes us back with him to the palace. But the Rebbe explains that although the king is found in the field and he's coming out to us, we actually have to go meet him in the field. Imagine the king's coming to town and you can go meet him. You're open to come meet the king. He's coming to, to, to your neighborhood. And you actually can go meet him and you're guaranteed a spot. Uh, 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 you're guaranteed to meet him. But if you just choose to stay home, as close as he is to you and as, as easy as, as an opportunity this is, you could still, God forbid, miss it. So this is something that we have to take to our hearts. And we have to take, realize that Hashem is giving us the strength. And this is the idea of Teshuva. Teshuva, Teshuva, my friends. And this is the month of Elul. The month of... Teshuva, and that Teshuva is something that the Tzemach Tzemach explains is is that is that one moment of Teshuva, it's the famous verse, Yafesh Achas, that one moment of Teshuva, and Maisim Toivim Be'olam is 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 even greater, one moment of repentance, returning to God in this world, is greater than all of the life of Olam Haba of the world to come. That a single moment of, of, of turning ourselves to the, towards the Creator with a sense of yearning, with a sense of desire to get closer to Him, is greater than all of the levels of infinite godly revelation and the, and the rays of godliness and the, and the angels and the souls basking and enjoying themselves in the rays of the divine splendor. Basically what this means is, is all the infinite, intense worlds of godliness above this world as great as they are and how much more pleasurable and how much more intense and how much more awesome and revealed godliness there is in those, in those worlds compared to this world, they have no comparison in, from God's eyes compared to one single moment of desiring and doing teshuva and returning to God. So what is teshuva? Teshuva is the state of returning to God. And of course, you can translate in English as repentance, and repentance is one aspect of it, and repentance is feeling sorry for your sins and regretting, and that is surely an aspect of it, but there's an even deeper aspect that teshuva literally means lashuv, means to return, that we are returning ourselves to where we belong all along with, with the Almighty, with Hashem. We are finding ourselves in a world of physicality, and we're desiring the Almighty and His spirituality. And therefore, that sense of desiring God and wanting to return to our source, something that first, of course, there's the idea of fear, and that is more the repentant aspect that we're, we're afraid to, to cause pain to our souls, and we're afraid to separate, separate ourselves from the Almighty, and that's surely an aspect, but even deeper, we, we that brings a state of Teshuvah from love, that we love Hashem so much that we want to be even closer to Him, we want to fix everything we want to, we want Him down here in this world in a revealed state. This is something that starts in Elul, that we have to go out to the field and meet our Master, and of course that will take us into the into Rosh Hashanah, we're about to enter one month before Rosh Hashanah, and this is why this, the title of this video involves Rosh Hashanah, because this is all a Hagdama, a preface to Rosh Hashanah. Let's get excited, let's get ready, let's add in intensity, let's give a little bit more tzedakah, let's give a little bit more in our prayers, a little bit more focus in our prayers, a little bit more Torah learning, a little bit more effort to treat those around us with love and respect, and surely Hashem will give us strength from above. May Hashem bless you all. Please send me your names. And I will bring your names to the Rashbi with Hashem's help. And you could surely also, you could help support the Torah channel. It's a good idea to give tzedakah before, before going to pray at a holy location. So if you want to help support us, we can continue to do activities as such. That would be, that would be highly appreciated. And Hashem should bless you all in your endeavors. And again, please like, comment, share, subscribe to help spread this message with the world. May Hashem bless you all. May we experience all of this today.